What's up everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. Today we're going to be doing a Marvel character, Ant-Man, right? So, his mask is pretty complicated. So, take your time, use a pencil and eraser. Hit pause when I move my hand, if I go too fast. So, let's go. Center point of my page is about here. We're just going to move his head over a little bit to the right-hand side, just to fit in his shoulder. His body is kind of turned. It's not like a straightforward pose. His, his head is straightforward, but his body is a little bit turned. So, we move his head just over from the center to the right, okay? Center point to my page is about here. So we just go up and over. And we're just gonna start with a straight line. Easy, right? So let's go. Cross, like so. Okay, this is gonna join his two the lenses of his glasses together. So we'll go, let's go diagonal, let's go up, this way, and then we will bring it across, like so, and then we'll go down. that way and this goes back up and then in towards his nose up to there okay we do this over here as well so we go like so bring it across Down. To there. And back up. And into the nose. Okay, so that's like your general shape. So he's got those red lenses on the inside of this as well. So we gotta do them. So we go up, cross, down. Curves around here in towards there and then up to there. Let me do pretty much the same thing on this side. So we go up, cross, down. Kind of curves and then up into there and around to there, right? And then in around here is all black. And then this is all colored like dark red and light red and stuff on the inside, so. Right, so. Right, so then we got um, another line just on top of his nose here, okay? Just some details coming around. And then we have this sort of section on top of his eyebrow, kind of here. And this has some like vertical lines on it, there. Do the same thing on this side. Down like so. <laughs> And then we'll break up his mask into different sections. So we've got like his cheek lines, right? So a line coming out here. And similar position on this side. Down like that, right? And this is going to come down towards his mouth. Down to there. And then this will go to there as well. And then this has an extra edge line to it here. So, something similar on this side. Like so. And then we have bolts or something holding it on. And then there's some lines on his nose. 
We got some lines like coming down here. Some corner lines in there, there. So, right, so then, so he's got like this circle section just down here and there's all this detail around, right? So, best way to do it, let's go, let's see what we can do, so. So this comes out to there and we have like a mouth line or something coming up and then this goes across, down, around here as well. This is kind of shadowed, right? So it's kind of like a thicker line because it's like his mouth or it's supposed to represent his mouth. You know what I mean? So it's like, you just kind of make this line a little bit thicker than the rest. Like so, and then this, so then we, this kind of steps down a couple of times, right? So this goes into this corner. So what we have then is this comes down, steps out, down, right? Out, down, like so. And then this goes into this circular section on his face, right? So this goes into here, into there. And then we have two circles, right? So. One, like in here. If you have something circular, you can draw around, you know, to make it just more circly. Feel free. No shame in it. Use a compass, use whatever you have. So, one there. And then we have details inside here. So like a, these vents or holes, just like this kind of thing. They kind of look like letter D's or something. It's there. And then he has like some sort of detail here. Circle there. And then there's another line that comes around. So we go around again. And then this just joins in here. Like so. Okay, so then more detail lines inside here. So we go shapes that go in. So from like a corner and then into there. It seems to be like another little line here. Lots of detail on this mask. And another line going that way. Another one coming from here. And then another sort of detail line on top. Goes across down to there. And then a couple more sort of sections like this maybe coming across. So these are just like ridge lines, like so. Right. Um, what else? So they're all like vents and stuff on top of his head. Okay. So let's give this a go. So we go up the side of his head. Down, down, diagonal. 
diagonal in, beside is I, down, diagonal in, beside is I. And then I think this goes up around his head. So we go up. I'm going really slow now because I'm trying to figure it out. It's pretty complicated up, up on this part of his head. So we go we sort of curve around the shape for his head. So it goes like there. And same on this side, pretty much. Curves around, right? And then we have this thing that sticks up in the middle. Like so. And then there's two lines, two sets of lines even. So let's see. Go here, just to the top of his eye. And then here. Let's bring it all the way down to the eye, sure to there and then I think we've got something else on this side there here right so So then, okay, so we go up this way. Are they open? I think they're open. So these vents, I think, are open on top of his head. So we go that way, right? We do the same over here, roughly speaking. So we go up. Cross, and then these will go across his head they have like bumps in them every now and then so we can dip down cross top of his head dip down in the middle back across down do a little bump here down like so and then we got to break this up this it's got some lines right so we of course it's got some lines it's a drawing <laughs> but we just have to draw a line like going down that way another one going down here right and then we break this up so this comes down this way this comes down there and then more inside so another line going down that way another line going down in that way and then maybe another here here and I think this is this is all dark inside here so I, I is his helmet so his helmet seems to have like lots of like open sections right so we've one that comes across the top of his head here. So that's the best way I can describe it. Like so, these sort of curved lines come down like so, and this is all colored dark inside here. But then we have another line coming along the top, curves down, up, around, down, across, up. up around to there and then this has another line coming across the bottom like so and they're all colored black inside not like these this one and this one okay so that's the middle part of his helmet then he's got antenna sticking up, right? So, coming out from here. So we'll go, go diagonal, and then we will go up this way, like so. 
Let's do another one on this side, so we'll do similar. So we'll do diagonal, and then we will bring up to there these sort of pointy ears kind of thing. And then we go across and down, and they have like a red tip on top, so you can draw that in. This goes down, and we'll land there. And then he has some more metal coming out from the side of his head. So we go diagonal here, and we go diagonal here. And then we're gonna bring this down around and join into here, okay? So we're gonna go long to there, long to there, and then we'll go into here. And then this goes down into here. Right, and then we have another section that kind of comes down, say this way. So it goes down into there, down, like that. So, okay, so then we just make this kind of look 3D. So we got to add some like shadows and stuff like this, right? So we've got like, Another section comes down, across, down into his jaw here. And this is colored dark black shadow inside here as well. So we go down, should go in again, and then down to there. And we'll just shade that in. Right, and then we'll add some detail lines on the edges here. So the line come out down to there. Similar area, just like here, now down to there. Broken up then into armor plates and stuff. Different sections of metal. It's down like so. There should be another one on this side. There isn't, but we'll add it anyway. Let's go down here. Maybe just somewhere it's kind of slightly different on this side, maybe a little bit. Like so, and then this comes out down into there, down. Similar over here, so that'd be just the other side down to there. Like that, and then another line here, like so. So that's there, and then this line comes down to this corner, then to there. So then there's like a red light here, red light there, there's like a nut or a bolt or something there, another line coming down that way, another one here, it's quite a detailed mask now this, and then there's another red section in here. Like a light, like there's a red light in there with some dark black shadow. So, so I'll, I'll color this black and then leave a little white section down here just to, if you wanted to add some red color, you could. Okay, I think that's his mask. Right, done. That was pretty challenging, I must say. Ant Man is complicated. So, what do we need now? So we need his body. So there's more, lots more stuff, right? So his body kind of turns. So this side of his shoulder is a little bit bigger. So we go, right. 
let's just go for it right so we got like shoulder pads kind of come out down to there comes back up in underneath his jaw right so this shoulder remember is smaller so like the center line for his chest we could add that like a, there's like a, a tube or something here right so this is like the center line so like curves this way right there's like a tube down here That tube goes that way, that tube goes that way, up to his shoulder, okay? So this is the center line. This side is much bigger than this side. It's probably twice the size. But he's turned away on this side. So the shoulder pad over this side is a little bit bigger than this one. So it goes down. Down to there. Up to here, okay? So see the size difference now? And then we'll just give it an edge. So the area like this. There's a red light in here as well. Lots of these sorts of red lights on them. Right, and then we just add some ridge lines just to kind of make this look a little bit 3D looking. Up, across, down, like that. Okay, so so his other shoulder now. So So, tubes on his chest, right? So, you could get like, we'll, we'll do like just the guide, sort of. So, we've got like a line here, and then we'll go shoulder, sort of there. Okay, that's kind of the width for his shoulder. His other shoulder is much wider and bigger over here, okay? So, just if we have a rough guide, right? So, that... So that's about head width, the width of his mask maybe, that's how far, and this is half that, so it's tiny, right, the half of his face out on this side, okay? So there's pipes that crisscross all over his chest, so the easiest one to start with, I will start with this one. So we have a bump here, we have a bump there. Okay, this pipe will come down this way. You go underneath his armpit all the way down here. So it's pretty difficult to see, it kind of disappears. I think it goes into his suit somewhere down here, right? So we'll just say it goes down this way. Let me just kind of do that shape again. I'm guessing it goes into his suit. I don't know if it goes wraps around his back or anything, but I'm just gonna guess it disappears into his suit here, okay? Like that, right? Then we have another tube that comes across and joins the center line for his chest. So this comes down. That's his trapezius. Okay, so, and then there's the other tube, right? So it like, comes around this way. And this is gonna go around like so, and it's gonna join into the center of his chest. Like that, and then the top of it goes around like so, down to there. And this will go up the other side. And we have an end here. It's like a junction. You can't see it on, on this side. They're kind of red. Like there's one here, one here, one here. Because his body's turned away, we can see the end of it. So this one 
goes in here and then this comes down into his armpit down here disappears sort of down into his chest down here So then this, the rest of this pipe here comes around down to there, like so. And then these are all broken up to there, there, all these lines on them. there and then we have some collar lines on his neck so this comes around here another one comes down this way up around there and then some more sort of armor or something in inside here another line broken up this way and another one broken up that way and then another one here Right, so then his tricep comes out this way. And it's just like his elbow and his arm just goes off that way. And his bicep in this side, his arm going that way. And then the side of his body is there, right? It's general shape for his body. And then arm here comes down and bicep goes off that way. And then the inside line for his body just comes down here. And then we've got some chest armor and stuff breaking things up. So this comes diagonal here, comes in like so. And then we'll go down this way, down to there, back up, curves up here. It's like an armor plate that comes across his chest, just here, and it'll go up around his shoulder into there the other one comes around his shoulder here smaller because his body's in three-quarter pose down into there go back this way down off my page that way and let's see so we got like the underside of it then on the shoulder here down that way and then there's like some detail lines just broken up, making it look a bit more sort of metal. Like so. Another one on top, another one there. Like so. To there and then it's like a dark section around his chest here this is black inside and then there's like a triangle or something in the middle of his chest here Sorry now if I'm going fast, but I just don't want the video to be too long. Just hit your pause button. And then, so he's got like more tubes and things coming down his arm, right? So, especially on this side. So we've got like another tube coming down his bicep down to there. Another one. Comes down that way. Maybe some like folds for his clothing, something here. Lines for the junctions, you know, on the pipes themselves. Lines like so, and then more detail lines in along this stuff. Detail, another one here, comes up, down, down to there, into there. 
and then this comes up down down to there and there's like another section inside here like so and man lots of detail on this guy so another line there another line there Right, so then these pipes are broken up into different sections. So we've got like more lines just curving around here. Another one here. Underneath here. Like so. And then here. So we've got like more. Another line going diagonal this way. And then one broken up going that way. And then we do line there, line there. Let me see. And then this comes down this way. And then we seem to have another red light sort of area down here. And then, so there's a red light in here somewhere. This comes down into there. So like this is like dark in here. Like so that's there's like a red light in there. There's a line there. And then this area is kind of broken up. Kind of a bit of a dark shadow. And then more detail. So another line comes around here, down into there. And then another one here comes up like so. And then this curves around his chest there. And then there's like another section in there. And then this section comes down, around back around to here, back up into there. And then there's more detail around this triangle as well. Kind of like this. And then we got some details on this thing as well. So like similar to this, just smaller. And up across. And diagonal down up into there. And this curves across here. And then there is, that's his chest. Another area there. And then like another pipe or a tube coming down that way. And where's the red light area here? There has to be me just in here. It's much smaller. So it just comes down into there. And this is dark black. And then your red light will be up here. And we have some edge lines just coming across here. Chest, bottom of his chest. Like a line breaking that up. And then some lines on this pipe. So this pipe has some curve lines on it like so. Another one here. And right, so on his shoulder. So this is his shoulder and we should have some edge lines on his shoulder as well. There's a pipe. This is like a pipe going down his bicep. It's like this line turned out the other way. And we kind of have a bicep line just going that way. And then some more pipe here. Maybe some lines on it here. And, oop. and boom. Okay, so just 
try and make these lines a little bit smoother. Is that everything? That's the question. He's a complicated character, isn't he? I hope this helps you out anyway. Anyone who made it this far in the video. <laughs> He's a... Uh, anything mechanical like this is always really complicated to draw. Mecha Godzilla being the case in point. Right. Sometimes if you thicken up the edges of a character, you know these lines? It can make the lines in the middle look a bit more tidy or subtle, do you know? So I might just do that. I might just add a little extra line weight out here. Once you get a thicker Sharpie. See what I mean? It's just going around these edges. It sort of just changes the impact of the outside lines then. I'm drawing on sellotape up here. <laughs> and this comes down. Oop, across down to there. It's outer edge, just thicken it up a little bit. Kind of like this, and we should have some here as well. Maybe we'll give just a line around this, just to make it look like the pipe is actually going into his suit. Just make this a bit darker. some shadow around these pipes as well. <laughs> so I'm just cleaning up the pipelines, just sort of making them look a little bit darker around there on the bottoms of them. Might give a bit of shadow feel to the bottoms of these pipes. Make them stand out a little bit more, maybe. But anyway, you could keep going forever with these types of things, so. Can we put a shadow underneath his chin? No. I was going to, I was thinking about it. Okay, but I think that's it. He's complicated enough. Let's have to draw Ant-Man from Marvel. Hope it was helpful, guys. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.